Over the past several weeks, we've been traveling around the region to check up on the crop on our Ag Week corn and soybean tour. We continue this week in South Central North Dakota, where Jenny Schlecht found out about the soybean crop. It's our Ag Week cover story. Thanks, Emily. I'm southeast of Medina, North Dakota with Zach Perleberg of PDL Agronomy. And Zach, this uh, area had kind of a late planting season. What has that meant for the crop and for the acreage? So the acreage, I would say, is probably pretty average as far as that goes. Maybe a little less just because of the wet spring, wet fall we had from last year. And what kind of disease or pest pressures are we seeing out here? So this year, you know, a lot of the disease pressures we usually have um, on a normal year would be white mold, sudden death syndrome. Um, we're starting to see more charcoal rot in this area. With it being drier, we're not seeing as much white mold. Insects, with it being drier, we're starting to see more grasshoppers. I've had quite a few customers that have had to spray for grasshoppers, especially in fields like this with tree strips. They seem to like to be in there. And how about weeds? We, we had kind of a weird year with some wetness early and now we've dried out. What are you seeing there? Uh, weeds have be definitely been an issue this year. We're seeing a lot of water hemp and kochia in our area that uh, we've been fighting early on, especially the kochia early on, and then the water hemp later in the year. And any estimates you have for the yield around here? Well, that's always a guess um, without actually going and looking. I, I would say you're probably going to see a lot of 25, 30 bushel beans in our area. And how would that compare to uh, an ideal top end year? Over the last couple years, take out last year with the drought we had, but the years before that, we've seen a lot of 35 to 45 bushel beans. Thanks, Zach. On the Ag Week Corn and Soybean Tour, I'm Jenny Schlecht. I'm Jeff Beach on the Ag Week Corn and Soybean Tour. We're near Mentor, Minnesota, talking with farmer John Swanson. John, tell us a little bit about how your growing season has gone so far this year. Well, we started out very wet. Well, we are planting between uh, three and five weeks later than normal. And uh, then we had some really big wind storms that didn't help uh, for getting good stand establishment. Early part of July to last Friday, we were basically no rain uh, in this immediate area. But where we're standing today, we have irrigation and irrigation can make up for the lost water from above anyway. Is there a big difference in the uh, yield potential between your irrigated and your non-irrigated crops? Well, last year was nearly 200 bushel an acre. Will that difference uh, be as substantial this year, do you think? It won't be near as big this year. Do you see what the yield potential is yet? Do you have any estimates on yield potential yet? Well, I haven't really taken, but we we could look here and see what we, we do have. I got a chart that I use that can give us a kind of a pretty good estimate. So we count out 23.7 feet. And then if we count the number of ears, then we'll count the number of kernels around the ear, and then we count the length of it. We had 28, so that would be about 170 bushel. Pretty decent corn yeah, for this for this far north. If we look a little bit at the, the ear, you see very beginning of denting started. What do you need to finish out this corn crop uh, nice and strong this uh, growing season? We need some heat, uh, warm days and warm nights. And that's what the forecast is saying. I mean, we need some more time. You can read more about our cover story in the next Ag Week magazine or at agweek.com. Thank you to our sponsors, Crary and Full Pod 2022, Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, North Dakota Soybean Council, North Dakota Corn Council, Minnesota Soybean, and Geringhoff. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.